Uh, and let me show you how big this waste could be. So when we are speaking about uh, what is the unused slot part, we are speaking about how many slots you have there based on the auto scaler and how many you have really used. And it's kind of impossible to, to fully utilize uh, the slots, I think, because uh, as I mentioned earlier, it increments by 50 slots. So if you need, let's say, for an example, just 30 for a minute or, or 40, then still you are not able to, to provision just 40 because uh, the minimum is 50. So in this case, I think it's impossible to, to be fully utilized, but the lower this, this, this waste is, the better it is for you from the, the cost perspective. And what you can show, what you can see in this uh, this slide, uh, I brought you through three different uh, use cases from our clients. When for the first, you can see that uh, sorry, for the first, you can see that the mock slot setting is uh, is at at four hundred, so it's not that big, and you can see that we are also checking that how many times, so how many times of a specific period. This is, I think, for 30 days. How many times are the jobs peaking at the maximum slots? So you can see that half of the time they are utilizing uh, the 400 slots. So this this peak uh, percentage is quite high. But for this customer, you can see that the waste is almost 20 percent, which is, I think, quite good. But here I brought you two other examples, which are a bit bigger customers in terms of BigQuery usage. For the second, you can see that the mock slot setting is more than uh, 4K. And you can see that the, the mock slot uh, peak percentage is a bit lower. So it's 26%. So 26% of the time they are peaking at that 4,500 uh, slots and on the rest they are not so here you can see that the unused slot part so if you are checking that how many slots are there available based on the auto scaler and how many they have really used uh, because of the jobs behind then now the waste is around 30 percent so they are uh, they are paid paying 30 percent more uh, compared what they uh, what they have need and here is another other type of customer where they have a, a much higher uh, mock slot setting. It's it's more than uh, 8K. And the mock slot setting is just 20%. And you can see that this waste could go up to almost 50%. So for this customer, what they are paying for BigQuery, almost the half of it is waste of the auto scaler so in this case it's it's quite uh, quite uh, quite big but what are the solution for them so what are what are the solution that you can think about to to try to lower this kind of waste so i think because this is this is a really really important point that first you need to understand what's your waste um, and afterwards you can think about what to do so the first obvious um, uh, solution could be to lower the maximum slots as much as possible. So for instance, here you can see for the first example that they are using a really low uh, max slot setting, uh, only 400, and they are picking um, quite big, uh, quite high uh, on the max slot uh, uh, set, uh, on the max slot uh, usage. But sometimes it doesn't make sense uh, because you can have different type of pipelines and different type of workloads. So here you can see for the second and the third example, uh, they have business critical pipelines where they need to, you know, met uh, the different criteria that how much time do they have to run all of the, the ELT jobs. And for those periods, they need 
4,000 or 8,000 um, uh, slots. But there are other uh, time periods when they don't need it. So in this case, they can do two things uh, to lower this kind of waste. Because the waste happens when, when they don't have this kind of peak usage. Because if you are peaking on the mock slot, uh, possibly more than one minute, then that's fine. Because in that case, at that moment, you don't have usually that much waste. It's, it's around 5 to 10%, let's say. But the problem is that in, in the periods when, uh, when you, you don't need that much slot and BigQuery scales up too eagerly if there are some queries and you have to pay for it a minute, but you are not using it at all. So what you can do is that you can split your reservation into multiple reservations. So you can say that, okay, I have my critical jobs that I need to run as soon as possible. And in that case, uh, you can set their 8,000 uh, maximum slots, but you can have other workloads for staging or development environment or for different type of workloads for different uh, purposes where you are having a much lower maximum slot uh, setting, let's say around 4,000 or, or 1,000, depending you know, on the different uh, uh, usage. Or another alternative could be because sometimes splitting the reservation is not that easy thing because the lowest level where you can split the reservation is on the project level. Because when you are creating a reservation, you need to assign uh, projects which belongs to the reservation and you are not able to assign, let's say, a service account or assign based on labels or those kind of things. So the lowest level is project and it can happen that, that you have multiple type of workloads within a GCP project. So in this case, you, you need to somehow split this kind of usage. Uh, from the project to different GCP projects. And this is the way how you can split your BigQuery usage into different reservations. So this is one example, but sometimes it, this could be a little bit more tricky from technical perspective. But the third solution could be that you can automatically adjust uh, the maximum slatting. So you can change it uh, or through the day, if you know how it, uh, how it, uh, what, what's the need um, around the day uh, in terms of uh, slots. Okay, um, let me show you how effective this um, automatically adjusted slot setting could be, because I brought you another example. Uh, what you can see here right now is, is one specific hour in a BigQuery. Uh, we are analyzing the usage for every second. And what you can see here that the mock slot setting is around 2K. And you can see that how many available slots there are based on the auto scaler. So this is the, the red line. And you can see with the blue line how many we needed. Uh, from the slots behind. And you can see here is a really good example that the mock slot setting is here in 2K. And here you can see that, uh, that the usage is coming. And at that specific minute, um, uh, BigQuery realized that there is a job. So they may need 500 slots, but actually in the, in the, in the behind, it was able to finish, let's say, in a second or in a two or three seconds. And because of this 60 uh, second minimum, uh, it was there. But you can see that this is something that wasn't used at all, uh, or only 50 or something like that. And this happened multiple times. Uh, it happened here that it scaled down um, not that quickly. Uh, here happened again. Uh, here you can see again, but you can imagine that this is just one example. 
and there are different kind of uh, spikes that can uh, easily spike the autoscaler. But at the end here, you can see that in specific in this specific uh, hour, the unused ratio was more than 30%, uh, percent, so it was 38%. So basically, you are paying, you are billed based on the available slot, available slot hours. But if we are checking how many slots you have needed, it was just 100 uh, slot hours in this example, but you were billed uh, based on 160. But let's check another example. So it's kind of same same usage because you have seen that that here the usage is spiking and on the rest of the hour there isn't that much uh, usage so let's try out another example because uh, what we do for instance we have a feature which is called um, BigQuery automation where we are automatically changing uh, the mock slot setting on a minute basis and this is what you can see here with the green line that we are changing it based on the past usage. And if you see it, then now the BigQuery autoscaler doesn't peak that much. So for instance, here you can see that, okay, the query arrived, but it was able to run it uh, within that couple of seconds. So it might cause a little delay of couple of seconds, but on the other hand here, you don't have to pay for 400 slots for a minute. So again, this was the, the previous example. And this is the new one, if you are able to change the maximum slot. And the big thing is here that you can see that if we have this kind of uh, auto automatic frequently changed mod slot setting, then the unused ratio could be lowered to five or 10. So it could be much lower compared to the previous 38. So this is something that that could be uh, used to, to lower the cost for the reservations.